Now, we'll go to the Food Quest Kitchen studio, where chefs Jim Furchie and Oliver Frost are cooking up a tasty surprise. So today I'm going to be making for you a chicken pad thai using the corn product, their chicken tenders. I want to start by making the sauce, actually. To keep this vegetarian, I'm actually going to be using soy sauce today instead of fish sauce. So put in some soy sauce. We want to use some palm sugar as well. So once you get that in the bowl, uh, we want to use some tamarind paste too. That gives it its unique flavor. These are all going in in equal amounts. Of course, you like your pad thai spicy, so we're gonna add a little sriracha into this to make a nice heat and uh, give it some extra flavor. We also wanna use some rice wine vinegar. And I wanna finish it with some lime juice as well. That's gonna bring it some nice bright freshness. So just give it a good whisk. And once this is whisked thoroughly, that's your pad thai sauce, very simple. Once that's done, you wanna go over to your stove and get your wok nice and hot. And we're gonna take vegetable oil and put in about two tablespoons of vegetable oil. We're gonna fry off our meatless protein chicken tenders. Get that going, and basically we just wanna give them a quick stir, get them coated in the oil, and get some good color on them. As you can hear that sizzle happening, that's exactly what you want. You could actually put your eggs in here. You're gonna put some garlic in, and you're gonna give that a stir. You wanna break up your eggs, they're gonna wind up cooking down into a scrambled egg and it's gonna bring this whole dish together. But now that we got some good color on this, you wanna get your noodles into the pan. And don't worry about it if they're sticky. The other sauce should help break it up and cook it a little easier. It'll come apart. But that's pretty much it. I mean, you're looking at pad thai already, and all you have to do is just add your sauce to it. Once again, you don't want the sauce to pool so you want to mix through thoroughly and just keep folding it in. Now the good thing about this meatless protein is it'll absorb any flavor you give it. So as you can see, we're starting to get some nice color in here and this dish is almost complete. It's gonna have the right amount of spice and acidity. Just keep stirring it, keep it off the bottom. But as you can see, within under 10 minutes you have a great dinner lined up. So just to plate this, we're just gonna go straight from the wok right onto the plate and give your pasta a little turn. Give your noodles a turn. It'll help it stand up a little bit. And then quickly uh, finish it with just some bean sprouts on top. A little more scallion just throughout the plate. And you can finish it with chopped peanut as well. 